Okay, so basically, um, what my research project was is I wanted to see if caffeine is more efficient in terms of solving alertness amongst younger participants or older participants. So I started doing some background research on sleep deprivation, because sleep deprivation. Um, so I did my project on the effect of biological benefits on physical attraction in human beings. and. The reason why I chose this project is because there's a lot of debate about what humans find the most attractive. Um, is it blonde hair or blue eyes? Um, is it red hair? What is it? number of people who have joined together. It's a huge group and community effort. I'd like to introduce the main sponsors of the fair, Dr. David Collins and Mr. and Mrs. John and Linda Souter come up. Um, I thought this was great. Did y'all all think it was great? Yeah, I did too. So I just I want to say congratulations to all the students who participated. Um, I saw some wonderful, wonderful projects. And hopefully we'll see some of you all back here again next year. Okay? I am imp impressed by the kids and their uh, scientific endeavors, the enthusiasm, and the extra work they put in to their... Uh... Just do want to recognize all of the people who have are representing Fauquier County Public Schools. We have the superintendent, Dr. David Jack. We have associate superintendent for instruction, Dr. Sandra Mitchell. We have the FCPS supervisor for science, uh, health and PE, Mrs. Pam Pulver. And um, 
a whole number of community supporters um, in addition to all of our fabulous school coordinators who really without their help we couldn't have uh, had them come up. If the school coordinators would stand up please. We owe them a huge, huge round of applause. Our keynote speaker today is Dr. Alan Atkin, father of stealth technology, retired as vice president of the Boeing Company, and to have someone of his caliber who is willing to not only give of his time and talents at the science fair, but to give of himself daily, he has enlisted on the substitute roster list for Fauquier County Public Schools. And so I have definitely called him in to come into the classroom. I'd like to go ahead and introduce Dr. Alan Atkins. Thank you, Benita. And I want to echo also the things that uh, the other speakers have said. This is been an outstanding fair. I was here last year. I was impressed last year. I said it can't get much better. Y'all fooled me. It got better and I think it ran a lot smoother and I think we're on our way. I saw projects today that I would not have seen in some colleges that I've been at. Some of these young men and women have really, really done some hard work and that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit. I like to, I'm going to talk about the three P's going to the three S's. So the three P's that I think fall into success for any kind of scientist is passion, persistence, and publicity. And I think we all know what passion is. I mean, each of these young men and young ladies really wanted to make that project happen. They were persistent. They continually worked on that project. If they had a problem with it, they continually solved the problem and stayed on it. And they need some publicity, and that's what they're getting today. They're getting the opportunity to get there. I had one of the luckiest jobs that, that I think anybody could have at, at DARPA. I worked there for quite a while, and I actually got called in to my boss who said, you're not taking enough risk. I'm not, no. Too many of your programs are succeeding. Huh. Your job is to find out where they break and what can and can't be done. So I expect failure out of it. If you don't fail, you don't make any progress. And that's what you have got to adopt too. I talked to many of you when I was in there and said, did you have anything go wrong? Oh yeah, well, why didn't you quit? Uh, that wasn't my job. I was supposed to figure out what makes this thing go wrong. I can do it. I can do it. You've all demonstrated that today. You've all demonstrated passion, persistence, publicity. You've all demonstrated some form of failure throughout your project. And, but mostly you've all demonstrated that you can do the job. And I want to see most of you here again next year. So I said I'd go from the three P's to the three S's. Three S's are stand up, speak up, and then shut up. If I could go ahead and have Ms. Tepper come on up. She's going to begin introducing the special awards. Um, our affiliation with Intel ISIF allows us to hand out a number of awards, which she's going to talk about. And I think Dr. Atkins is going to hand. This is a fabulous program because we have it open for not only Fauquier County public school students, and I, this is really telling to me that our school board is willing to say, yes, let's open it up, private schools, home schools, public schools, all the kids of the county are our kids in the county. And I think that that kind of support has been fabulous. Um, as Benita mentioned, our science and engineering fair is affiliated with the Science Society for Science and the Public and the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. And because of that, we're able to provide special awards to our students. 
These awards are given by professional organizations for scientists, and they're given by universities, academic honor societies, and research branches of the military. These awards recognize outstanding research in regional science and engineering fairs that are related to specific science and engineering disciplines. The individual awards vary in terms of specific criteria to be used to make the award, and they also vary in grade level that's considered for the award. Like some awards are just given to high school students, other awards are given to like one middle school student and one high school student. The actual award, as you'll see, may include a certificate, a letter of congratulations, a medallion, a cash award or a gift card, a gift of a valuable item for a student, or some combination of the above. Before I start with the final awards that we have, these would be for the categories um, with cash prizes. Again, thanks to our partner Learning Tree International, Sharp Science Student Foundation, the suitors uh, for the funds that come in that we can hand out. Let's go ahead and start with the junior division. Um, and I would like Dr. David Jack if you would come on up. Uh, there are some medallions that go with the prizes that we have. Mrs. Pulver saw fit to see those. Dr. Allens has, con uh, ha has contributed to the medals. So when I call you up here, you may want to stand. Okay, typically reserved for wrestlers and the like to stand on the one, two, and three position. Now, we don't have an extension for honorable mention, but you're gonna stand next to him. Fourth place, or honorable mention, sixth grader from Wakefield School. Uh, and this was a group project, so the $100 cash prize has no name on it. You guys can figure that one out. Um, effective fertilizer and foliar spray on plant growth. That's Chandler Brown, Bobby Guinea, and Clay Saylor. Our third place is $300. Marshall Middle School eighth grader, music and the mind, Alice Christensen. Second place, Second place carries a cash award of $400, and that has been made out also to another school student from Marshall Middle School, eighth grader, and that is biomass, energy, garbage in, gas out, Joe Barrett. Incidentally, all of our middle school winners are going to be able to participate in a nationwide competition against other middle schoolers, and that is Broadcom Masters. Huge prizes in that, $25,000 is first place. And that is an online application that needs to be done before June. First place goes to a seventh grader from Warrington Middle School. Her project was entitled Mirror Image. That is Stephanie Schaefer.
congratulations, an outstanding job. Our first and second place uh, winners from the junior division are qualified to go on to be observers at the state level science fair. That occurs in two weeks at the Virginia Military Institute. That will be an all expenses paid overnight trip. You don't have to ask for money for food or lodging or travel. The Fauquier County Regional Science and Engineering Fair is going to take you there. And a lot of that is courtesy of the hard work of Mrs. Linda Souter, who Mr. John Souter says is able to get money out of anybody. <laughs> she snagged for us a $2,500 donation, uh, the Patricia and David Voss Foundation. You'll see a lot of people listed there who have contributed towards this trip. So Stephanie and Joe, hopefully you will be able to join the high school students who will be representing us. Thank you. So Let's go ahead and talk about the senior division prizes, which are very generous. Uh, fourth place goes to a student from Mountain Vista Governor's School who also attends Fauquier High School, a 12th grader whose project was the effect of zinc oxide on blocking ultraviolet A radiation. It carries with it a cash prize of $250 and the prize of going to the state fair. So that would go to Claire Burke. Third place carries a cash award of $500. If you don't know how to spend it, come talk to me. It's a 10th grader at Wakefield School, making an affordable computer for countries which have a GDP under $15,000. And that's Jung Won So, also goes by the name of Sam. Congratulations. So the name of the, pro uh, the, the project that is winning second place and the $750 check is the effect of taillets on aerodynamic performance. And that's Rachel Seeberger, Mountain Vista Governor's School 12th grader who also attends Kettle Run High School. So is Rachel here? Okay. Um, and now, before we announce the first place winner, um, I would like to introduce Hannah Small to come up. Hannah Small was the grand prize winner from the senior division last year. In addition to the $1,500 check, she also won a one-week trip to Los Angeles, California, all expenses paid to represent Fauquier County for the first time ever in the 59-year history of Intel ISIF. So Hannah is currently a freshman at University of Richmond. She is attending school there on a full science scholarship. Room, board, books, everything. So it is a pleasure to know this young lady and I would just like to introduce Hannah to you. Um, first, I'd like to take this time to thank Mrs. Rubier Mrs. Ribeiro and Mrs. Thompson and Miss Monica. They are my research teachers and they really helped me through my research project and they are angels. I would also like to thank my supportive parents who are always there for me and I love them. And thank you so much to the sponsors of the Fauquier County Fair. I never thought I would have an opportunity like this to participate in a science fair uh, and it really is an outstanding opportunity and I'm very grateful for it. 
One year ago, when I found out that I would be Fakir's representative at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair, I was completely terrified. Excited, but terrified. I thought of Intel ISEF as an insanely cutthroat competition, with show-offs reciting pi to the thousandth decimal or bragging about the PhD they had already earned. I thought I would be stressed beyond my limits, so I just blocked it from my mind until the actual week of the fair. Upon arrival in Los Angeles, it seemed as though my preconceptions were right. There were so many people, the buildings were huge, and everyone seemed like they knew what they were doing, except me. I felt lost. However, as soon as I started talking with the other finalists, I discovered that my expectations were completely wrong. The other students wanted to talk to me, wanted to share their ideas, and wanted to listen to my own. It wasn't a hunter-be-hunted situation, but rather an intriguing, collaborative, and enriching environment. Intel ISEF proceeded to be one of the best weeks of my life, even though it was a whirlwind of events. One of the best parts of the entire experience was the huge number of students there and the diversity that they represented. There were finalists from every state in the U.S. and from 70-plus nations. I personally met and discussed ideas with people from the countries of Lebanon, Egypt, Georgia, Ukraine, Spain, China, New Zealand, Argentina, Uruguay, the list goes on and on. There was a pin exchange where I got to meet the other finalists from around the globe, and I still have those pins. Another amazing part of my experience was hearing current astronauts speak about their journey and then getting to meet them personally. I had a long, deep discussion with one of the female astronauts that opened my eyes to new opportunities that I had not thought about before. Everyone was truly happy to be at Intel ISEF, and it bred an extremely conducive environment for collaboration and inspiration. I think that is one of the fair's greatest strengths. Through meeting the other finalists and going to the amazing events, I realized that science truly is a collaborative undertaking. I carry this realization with me to this day. I'm so grateful for the opportunity I was given, and I know that Fakir's representative this year will have an amazing experience just like I did. Thank you. The grand prize winner of today's fair in the senior division will go on to represent Fauquier County at the 60th annual Intel ISIF, which is being held in Pittsburgh during the week of May 10th with the project Parabolic Equation Impact on Solar Reflector Conversion Efficiency. Hannah Cross. The first place winner will be receiving $1,500 in addition to the week-long full expenses paid trip to Pittsburgh and to represent us with another 1,700 students, student at Mountain Vista Governor School and Kettle Run High School in 12th grade. Um, we also, before we conclude today, I want to mention who is qualified by the judges in their determination to represent us well at the State Science Fair. Shannon McAvoy, <laughs> Mackenzie Barrett, who is a student at Mountain Vista and Falkier High School, <laughs> Brad Hauska, who is at Mountain Vista Governor School and Kettle Run High School, Again, from Mountain Vista and Kettle Run, Marissa Windsor. <laughs> Mountain Vista and Kettle Run. I'm just going to get a, an abbreviation. That's Zach Kersey. <laughs> but Falkier High School, Eliana. Is it Zaleski Williams? We'll also go to the State Science Fair. Um, and I'm really pleased that we can have this kind of representation from Falkier County. So I want you to start thinking about next tiers of competition, but not just that, but next year's competition. And that will be the version 3.0. That's where you want to start thinking is what you're going to do with what you've learned at the next level or in future projects. And I wish you all the best of luck and those of you 
Um, parents, in your support, thank you so much for everything that you've done. Really appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you.